Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna give my skin a little bit of deserved TLC and I'm gonna show you how I care for my skin. And I kind of do this ritual about twice a week, uh, but not more than twice a week because I think it's enough. And it's basically, uh, I'm showing you how I'm cleansing my skin, how I scrub, how I'm using a mask. And right now I have like a lot of skin build up around my chin and I have some um, acne, a few acne spots. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I care for my skin and I'm gonna give it back my plumpiness because my skin is really feeling really dry and dull right now. And I am show gonna show you how I'm balancing my skin and give it back with shine. So what I'm starting with is I have this Mahalo skincare cleanser melt and it's called the Unveil. This is a very pricey cleanser and it's the only balm cleanser that I have and this is so special because it has uh, papaya enzymes in it and it looks like this it has like a beautiful greenish color very beautiful it has a bunch of plants in it very very beautiful it's very concentrated so you need a tiny little amount of it like a pea size cleans and about bean size, I don't know if I should say uh, to cleans off makeup of your face uh, but yeah this one has like I said uh, it has beautiful enzymes like papaya enzymes and it's gonna remove the dead skin cells off and I'm gonna just spread it on my face it's gonna melt and it's kind of turning into a beautiful um, more like an oil and I'm just gonna massage it and work it uh, all over my skin and and it's so deep cleansing and it's so gentle and I'm gonna take a little bit more and to you right now and I need to work it like around my jawline and behind my ears I'm getting like a lot of breakouts this is where I break out the most I think under my jaw and give a little bit of massage because why not drain all the fluid in my face a little bit um, so we kind of work it around my chin behind my ears and then just pull it down my neck in my face my eyebrows Towards my temples, towards my ears, where all the fluids are getting drained. And then when I see I have sometimes more skin build up than I would like, I usually use, I have a scrub that I did myself and I made a tons of, like I always have like a big jar of scrub because I have it on my face and my body. And this is a sugar scrub that I made, I'm gonna link down the recipe. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the sugar scrub 
gently gonna rub but I feel I have the extra skin to build up. And usually I get it on my chin, like I said, under my jaw. And if it's your sugar scrub, if it's too dry, you can definitely use some water to wear it. But yeah, usually I sit around, around my sink, so I made a mess into my sink. I just have a big towel sitting here on my lap. And I use this sugar scrub around my nose. I want to do the same movements that you did when you massage the balming so you kind of want to drain all the fluids in your skin but yeah this is gonna remove all those dead skin cells And then gently we're gonna remove it with some warm water. I'm just gonna go cleanse. Now I just rinse my face with some warm water. And the next step that I'm gonna do, now my skin already feels refreshed and clean and uh, the Mahalo mask is doing wonders. Uh, but I wanna go deeper a little bit into my pores because my nose gets a little bit more Pores, I don't know, they just suck up on dirt and I want to cleanse a little bit deeper my skin and I'm gonna show you I use this I'm gonna use this uh, Katari Beauty Voyage kit that I have here and this is Mediterranean Beauty Essentials Complete Skin and Hair Care Regimen and it says for travel but this makes a very beautiful gift um, especially like a bright make gift or mother's day gift or yeah it's just beautiful and this helps you uh, take care uh, of your skin and um, it has amazing amazing um, ingredients and tools inside here and I'm gonna show you uh, what it has exactly it has this beautiful handmade ball that I'm obsessed with comes with this ceramic ball and I am so obsessed with this handmade ball and it has a natural sponge that you can use uh, wet to remove the mask or apply the mask if you want to it also comes with a little brush to apply the mask and then it has here we have the Argil mask which is a mud mask have hoba oil which is a jojoba oil we have roseau which is a rose water we have geran which is a geranium water another argil and this is a full 
size. So we have a full size and a travel size of the of Jill. And this is on regenerating skin mask, age defying, cleansing and firming, and exactly what I need. I need something anti-aging, firming, and it's very easy to use. And this is 100% pure Tunisian green clay. And I really, really like that all these um, ingredients in this kit are all from Mediterranean a um, area and they are all very potent. And we have Bari. And Bari, it's actually 100% uh, fig seed oil. So this is very new to me because I didn't try fig seed oil before I got this Qatari Beauty uh, kit. And we also have two spoons here. These are made from olive tree. And these are precious to me. I love uh, anything handmade. And these are handmade, just like the bowl, which is really, really beautiful. These are made by artisans. And these are precious to me. And I'm gonna treasure and love forever. And yeah, the beautiful cardboard packaging. It's really, really beautiful, amazing. And so, so beautiful so we're gonna take care of our skin we're gonna do a mud mask and we're gonna use the argile and to do that you have to use the spoon that they give it to you and you need to use one spoon of the, um, the argile and two spoons of water to create the mask and you can always play with the ingredients to mix and you know, add more if you need to, but yeah, I'm gonna put one teaspoon of the mask. I'm using like a about kind of full, I would say, not too full. And I'm gonna put the teaspoons of the water. And I'm using the same spoon. And I'm gonna mix it up using the same spoon. Let me show you what it looks like. This is a little bit runny now. as is and then dry on your face. I'm gonna use a tiny little bit more of gel. Yeah, just a little more to give it more thicker consistency. So it does drip off my face so now it's not coming off anymore. And you can use the little wooden spoon like this to apply it on your face if, if you like. Or you can use the brush that you came with. And today I'm gonna use the brush. sit like this for about 15 minutes I'm gonna let it dry and completely suck out all of the dirt into my pores and then I'm gonna um, come back and show you how it looks like now the mask is dry and yeah it's like a raisin I can't even talk my skin is so tight and yeah my pores uh, as you can see you can see through the mask it's sucking out all the impurities into the skin and yeah as you can see here too so it's doing a really good job at sucking up everything that's in the pores so that's why I love these masks and uh, now we're gonna remove it because my skin starts to itch <laughs> and you can use to cleanse you can use um, the little sponge that it came with 
Uh, this is a natural sea sponge. It's very, very beautiful, so soft when it's wet, and you can gently wash the mask away when you sit um, above your sink. And it's gonna hmm, take you all off. So, you can use a wet towel. You can just rinse it off with water. But Now my skin feels like really refreshed, like so tight, it's, you know, it's an amazing anti-aging, tightening, skin tightening mask, honestly, even though that my skin feels now a little bit on the dry side, it's gonna restore, it's gonna get the balance after we start with the skincare. And the first uh, step I'm gonna do after the mask is a toner. And I have here the Qatari Geran or the Roseau and I even have a full size of the Roseau which is an amazing rose water and this is uh, produced only when the roses are blooming, they are in full bloom, they are um, handmade, um, picked and this is uh, made seasonal and it's very fragrant and it's for all skin types, it's balancing, it says here to reduce cleans, pores and redness, face or body, before bed, daily or as needed. I use this as a um, makeup setting on his too. And it's just 100% pure Tunisian rose water, sand naturally and it varies by season uh, because it's uh, produced only when the roses are in full bloom. And yeah, this is the next step. So you either want to use the rose or the geran. The geran actually has the geranium it's a geranium water. It has the same amazing benefits and it smells amazing too, that one too. So yeah, we're gonna tone. Ah, oh, this smells so good. Like the roses, <laughs> the rose scent is so amazing. And we're gonna let uh, we're gonna let it dry and close my pores and I'm gonna show you my pores right now mm, my nose pores are so much better I see I got some clay on my skin is so clean right now and the pores are gonna close with this toner we're gonna let it dry and close the pores first the next step, or the last step, after the dryer dried out, uh, I do feel my skin is still really, really tight, and I love that feel. Like honestly, it's weird. Uh, but yeah, the last uh, thing that I do is I use a serum and a moisturizer if I need to, and I have this Katari uh, sample here. This is Bari, very Bari. I'm not sure how to. Speak how to pronounce it but this is a fig seed oil which is quite unique I never came across it before Qatari Beauty and I have here this is my favorite actually this is Maya Chia Beauty um, the super couple assistanting Chia Ultra Look Chia Ultra Lux facial oil and yeah I, this I noticed it's the most amazing anti-aging serum that I own and my most loved I guess so this is what I'm using especially on you know when my skin uh, gets those fine lines and I kind of see it and my face get really dry I see the fine lines more pronounced and this is helping with that a lot 
anti-aging for me it's um it's something you know i really like to care for my skin i'm almost 40 now so um this is one of my little secrets i guess that i use this little potent bottle uh ever since i used it for the first time i saw amazing improvement in my skin and uh, it's leaving my skin so smooth and silky and it's absorbing to the skin you can see it's not it doesn't have that greasy feel oh, it's really really beautiful so, this is one of my top loved serums and i like to use it all over my face as you can see all over my neck and yeah especially after a mask you know, I don't put too much at first because um, this blends so well into the skin and it makes my skin feel so good every time I use it. Uh, it's a great moisturizer. Uh, I just use it by itself. Only in, in the winter time, if I need extra moisturizer, then I can add more. But in the spring, summertime, and autumn, and my skin balances more and it feels better I just use this serum and it's amazing and I use it around my lips you know to combat those fine lines around the lips and my left lines this started to be pro more pronounced this year like over this past winter it was a really long winter here I kind of massage it into the skin and gives such a beautiful, beautiful finish to my skin. The skin is so... It has like a satin, like a satin finish. You can definitely... Oh, you can tell that I'm using an oil on my face. And I put it around my eyes too. I notice that it's very lightweight and... You know, I'm trying to combat all these fine lines around my eyes with it and yeah. I never put it on the top of my eyelids. As you might know that you shouldn't put um, eye care products on your lids because um, while you're closing your eyelids all the time, the moisturizer that you put it around your face and eyes is traveling and it's building up here. So you don't want to clog your pores and um yeah unless you have like really dry eyelids i get them maybe twice a year wherever it's left on my fingers i will gently pat it down around my eyelid you know but try not to put too much like seriously right now all all the serum are kind of sucked into the skin it's even out and uh whatever is left on my fingers is like barely nothing you can Head it down gently um, on your eyelids if you feel that you need that extra moisture. So that was my little skincare TLC Monday. Um, I do this about once a week. Uh, if my skin really really needs it, I'll go twice a week. But usually what I do uh, twice a week, I use the scrub, the sugar scrub that I did myself, and then just use the serum and yeah. The mask, uh, I use it about once a week. I don't see the need to use it more. Uh, I do it just to cleanse my pores and to get the tight feel, like it's boosting the skin elasticity, I think. And uh, my Achia serum, it does anti-aging wonders to my skin. Let me know if you have any questions about any of these products. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.